Yo, hello everyone, I'm Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to Ragecraft 2, Rage of Futures Past. So, we are back here in the place that is awful and sometimes fun, but mostly awful. Um, off screen, I did a little bit of pokey poking. Um, so, this place is marginally safer, filled in some holes. Um, insert uh, Vertigo Repairman joke here. Um, that's that. So we have a new issue, which is um, the anchors are not destroyed. They still exist and are annoying. Um, apparently no one wanted to send me the memo that there was more than one set of anchors. Um, and now that I have procured that memo, um, it's kind of annoying. Hey, stop weaving, you dang guy. Um, so we are going to do our very best! Oh no! And by doing our very best, I mean run away from wither skeletons! Ah! Why are there so many of you? Slice. Oh, slice, slice, slice! Okay, good. <laughs> Temporarily not slice. Oh, there we go. I appears as though in my um, attempts to make this row safer, I didn't. Don't. Don't. You're annoying. Ouch. Hello, creeper. Ow. So I think, by the way, ouch, that the wither effect should stop when the wither's dead. I mean, maybe that's just me. But in my mind... Like, the wither, like, what it's doing is it's, like, sapping health from you. It's, like, it's stealing health. So if it's dead, then, like, what sense does it make that it's, like, still... Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Aw, oh, man! That sucks. Brrr. So, I mean, like, what sense does it make that it's still stealing health? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Uh, I will be right back. Okay, we are back. Rub my eye for a second. There we go. Um, I will admit I'm finding this area slightly aggravating. Um, but I've a, I think I have a valid reason for this. I don't want to sound like I'm just griping for the sake of griping here. I, in a way, I feel that the mechanic of I I have no problem with the mechanic of this area. Is like I I think I want to. Uh, emphasize, first of all, like, the mechanic of having this one, like, this glass platform, where it's hard to see, like, if there's any holes in the first place, and then have creepers come in that can destroy the walkway, like, I, I have no problem with that. Like, that's, that's a fine mechanic. Like, it's actually entertaining. My only gripe with it, and this is after playing this for a while and getting familiar with how this area works, is this is my whoa you're still technically alive okay there we go okay uh, my gripe with it is the fact that the f the price of failure here is too high the fact that if you die you fall into the abyss like I just eh. just something about that just seems a little bit too I mean, dramatic isn't necessarily the word I want to use, but that that's the word that comes to mind, is it's just a little bit like, aha, you failed, now lose all your things. So, I think that's my only gripe about this so far. There's a floor creeper, isn't there? No, it actually fell through the world, I think. Okay. Um, and that's And that's the only thing that I've been finding issue with so far, is... Is it's becoming to the point now where the, I'm not actually really finding this area hard. It's just becoming more hard because I'm losing like everything. Like if I die, then I know I'm going to lose like all the stuff that I had on me. There's no like talking my way out of that. Like there's no. And I guess technically you could argue, like, Jack, why don't you just build, like, um, a ladder all the way down, make the entire surface smooth stone at the bottom, and then you could go get your stuff. It's like, yeah, that's true. And if 
my tactic for this wasn't to brute force it, which I think is totally a valid tactic, by the way. Um, if my if I wasn't using this tactic right here, are you actually dead? Good. Of you know just kind of coming in here and being like, you know what, I I'm not gonna take death, you know, to I'm um, seriously here because uh, at the same time here, like I don't like dying. Like I I guess it's a matter of like standards, not to say and and uh, again full disclosure right here. This is not me saying anything about any other Let's Play. This is not me saying anything about any person who plays a map like this. Um, I don't like to make sky... I don't like to make bridges in general. Oh, there's a cast up there. Um, and I know a lot of map makers... Uh, a lot of map makers, too, try to deter you from making just, like, a bridge that spans, like, the entire map and you just walk along it. And then that's, like, the deal. That's it. You just walk along this bridge you made for yourself, and then, boom, done deal. Um, like, I, I don't have an issue with that. And if that's how you got through this area, that's completely valid. Like, that, that was just your strategy. I just personally, this is just a personal preference, I don't like that strategy. Because I feel like, and... And this might be this might be kind of a weird statement, but it's like the map maker put a lot of work and effort into making this map. It's like this is his like project. There we go. Couldn't find my sword for a second. Like the map maker put a lot of work into this, and especially like and this is like any map maker, but Helicio especially like you could. You could see the level of like craftsmanship and dedication that he must have poured into this map. Um, we've been playing this map for you know God knows how many hours now. I think uh, in terms of just the let's play, it's been going on for like 31 hours. Uh, the amount of time that I put in off camera is probably double that. So I mean, we've been playing this map for like 60, 70 hours. But that's just us, like, going through it, and we haven't even done everything, like, uh, to be perfectly honest. Well, A, we're not even done with the map, but B, we haven't even really seen everything that there is to offer inside the map anyway. Um, I would like to see everything that's offered in the map, but, I mean, we have it. And to think that Helicio made this, and not only that, but I, I believe he made this all himself, so... Once you factor that in, that's actually amazing that he built all this. And not only, like, he built it, like, he crafted it, but he had to, like, come up with the areas. Like, he had to, like, plan them out. And then after he planned them out, he had to, you know, uh, just to come up with the mechanics. Um, I'm sure that with a lot of these mechanics, too, like, he had to learn the process of doing it. Like, you can't just... <laughs> There's a lot that you can do with, like, command blocks and something like, uh, and stuff like that, and that's simply amazing just in and of itself. And then kind of throw in, it's like, like, command blocks are, like, not, like, in, like, uh, it, it, you don't, unless you have programming not like, pre-programming knowledge or something like that. Um, man, I really wish I could have destroyed that. Um, unless you have knowledge of programming, uh, you're going to have to learn how to use command blocks. And command blocks are super in-depth, and, and especially to do the stuff to the level that's going on here. The fact that he's like, oh man. Uh, this is safe. Mm, okay. It's like, I'm like trying to detect like little subtle differences within the uh, the shading, and it's really hard. Um, I think we actually might be good to start coming in this way for a little bit. For a second, I like couldn't tell if I was standing on a solid block or not. Um, oh, hello. Boop. So we got rid of that anchor. That's good. Um. I was kind of meandering my way towards a point here. Ah, yes. Um, 
Alicio has put in a lot of work in this map. That's the easiest way to say that. <laughs> like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Boop. Um, and so it just doesn't seem. Fair. I'm mm, I'm trying to talk, and at the mm hmm, I see you. I also see you, but I didn't, nearly didn't for a second. Uh, let's go get some supplies again. Boop. We're making some pretty good progress. Um, Halicio, long story short, Halicio's poured a lot, a lot, a lot of effort into this map, not just to make it, but to play test it to make sure it's fair. They put quotation marks around there for some parts. <laughs> no, yeah, I actually feel going through this map, I know I griped about stuff at some point, but thinking back on it, I can't really think of an area that was like inherently unfair. Like every Every sort of area that we've been in, like, there's been places that are kind of butts that I don't ever want to visit again, or the mechanics would, you know, throw me off or stuff like that. And that's, you know, understandable. Um, is it always, like, sunset here? Oh, wait, yes, it is, um, because the time is always day. There's always sunset, because it's blah, blah, blah. Because <laughs> uh, you can't sleep, because it's insomnia. <laughs> Where's the next spawner? I think that's it there. Don't ask me what that was. Why'd you ask me? I still actually can't tell if it's easier to detect the holes in the sky. Ah! Hey! His buddy, like, knocked me at him. Ah, skeleton. Ouch. Make sure that if we do... Oh, there's a... There's a... Woohoo! It's a good thing we saw that. Um, getting off topic again because I'm getting focused. There we go. All right, back onto rambling. Um, Halicio's poured a lot of map effort. Whoa! What a juke! Did you see that? The dude was just like, "Nope, I'm not having any of that." Swoop! Dodge. Was like, ho ho! This creeper obviously is much better at this game than I am. Can you just not? Can you go away? Thank you. Um, and so because of it, it just... It seems unfair. And, oh man, of course you had to spawn. Ouch. Thankfully I'm good now, but... It's weird that, like, I, whenever I, like, I get into out of range. Anyway. It <sighs> much better. It just seems unfair. That's that's all I've been saying. It, it seems unfair for me to come in and just bypass everything that Alicia has done. And I'm sure, like, he put in a good amount of hours into this. And I've been putting in a good amount of hours myself. <laughs> Jokes. It's so tempting to just, like, attempt to make a beeline, like, straight for whatever that room is. Um. Oh, floor creeper. Oh, good, we got him. It, it just seems unfair for me to bypass it with a sky bridge. I'm sure that that's, like, perfectly within the rules. I'm sure a lot of map makers try to discourage it, but it's not like explicitly against the rules. I mean, if you wanted to play the entire game just making tunnels like the entire time, like I'm sure you could and you could get by and like that would be your experience with the map. All I'm saying is that my experience I want it to be I I I want to feel as though I have beaten the map. Like, I don't want to just get through the map. Like, I want to be at the end of the day, like, look back. Oh, God. Oh, mm hmm, mm hmm. There's a lot of holes in here. All right, Creeper, come at me. Come at me better next time. And, and that's exactly it. I just want to feel like I have beaten the map. Um,
Whoa! I don't get floor creepers. I don't get them. Because it's like the hitbox is there, but it's actually not. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I just want to beat the map. Like, I want to destroy the map. Like, I want the feeling that at the end of the day, like, I can look back at this area, um, and say, like, yeah, I got through this. Like, yeah, I... It took me a lot of effort. It took me quite a number of deaths. I think we've died, what, like... <laughs> A lot of times. Like, we've done a lot here. But I don't have a problem with that. Because I know that when this is all over, and it's actually getting pretty close to the end right now, we've only got one more of those creeper spawners. And managing one is actually not too terribly hard. Um, and so, I know that at the end of this, I'm gonna look at this and be like, yeah, I felt like I like beat the snot out of uh, Vertigo. Like, I don't feel like I cheated in a way, and again, I, I know I said this at the beginning, but I want to say it again, just to reiterate, I don't, this isn't saying anything about anyone else's playthrough of the map. Um, how you play through the map is no less legitimate than any other's playthrough of the map. Unless you were actually cheating, uh, there is... Like, I don't think that anyone could come in and say, like, your experience with the map, please, 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 is less valid. Ah! Is less valid than anyone else's playthrough of the map. Um, so, that being said, yes, I, I want to play through the map. Um, in a certain way. I want to play through it by brute forcing it, forcing it through all the spawners. Um, sometimes if that means I make very slow, small, tiny bits of progress um, and have to stand still for like three minutes and just bat off creepers, like that's fine. Like that's that's how we're gonna get through it. That's gonna be it, because at the end of the day, that will be my victory. Or that'll be our victory, since we're going through this together. Like, we will be victorious together, and this is the way that I want us to do it. I don't want to end the map and then come back to an area and be like, oh, well, this, was, this map was really, really fun, I really enjoyed it, I really wish I didn't, like, do, like, uh, sky bridge at vertigo though like I don't want to have those regrets at the end of this and that's what I really wish there wasn't blazes I like blazes all things blazes I didn't even eat blazes <laughs> alright um I think we're coming pretty close to we're close to the end of the episode why are my arrows arcing like in such a weird way there we go <laughs> why do arrows arc in general why is gravity a thing in Minecraft? Why does gravity decide to work sometimes and then not other times? Well, okay. You know what? I don't appreciate. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, I want to get up there and stop this. Neato Spedito. This is still pretty dangerous. Thankfully they can't get to me, but now I'm kind of stuck here. Aw, yeah. Go away. Who would have thought that this would be, like, it? Like, this would be the way that I get defeated by the map. Right, we gotta make. Whoa, boop. We have to make the great escape and then double back. All right, come at me. All right, we just need to poke some holes now, and I think this could be our great escape. 
Cross your fingers, guys. Wake up. Boop. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Yay! Delicious. We did it, guys. We beat Vertigo. And who would have thought that the best strategy to defeat it would be to ramble incoherently about something else? Who would have thought? If only I would ramble incoherently about other topics other times. So, the last thing we have to do is Fear of the Dark, in which we will face our Fear of the Dark. Um, talks about Void Fog, I'm assuming that it's just going to be a big annoyance of things jumping out of the Void Fog and us not having a very large view distance. Uh, so yeah. Although I don't think it should be too bad, because we've been playing with uh, four chunks of view distance anyway. Have we? Yeah. <laughs> we've been playing with like three chunks for like the longest time, so we're super used to uh, not having super far view distance. But yeah. Uh, I'll do another thing like I did with Arachnophobia, in which I go around and finish up that map. There were two chests in there that contained emeralds. I checked them. Um, I didn't extract them, because that'd be dangerous. Um, and then I'm assuming there's one in the far back. I couldn't see it. I would. I want to get rid of that creeper spawner anyway, but that's something that I'll work on um, just while the cameras are rolling. Um, and we'll do a speedy up montage of me going through and plugging up holes and busting up spawners. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you left me a like. And, as always, stay tuned for more.